Hello there, I am Manning Yellow and welcome to another async game. This one I wanted to highlight because I've been using Blondie a lot and this was one where Blondie actually got to use its ability. I think the last two arena games I had with it, which I put up on the channel, the Blondie was essentially just like a glorified Hydra most of the time. They really just like, I mean, it, it had the threat of the ability happening, which was what it like it did in those games. But in this one, it actually got to use the ability on a couple phobies, which is nice to see because that is like that is the threat that you put out when you have the blondie over the hydra because otherwise the hydra is obviously just better for the cost but when you have an ability like blondies most of the time you're actually not gonna connect it at least not unless you have some like very good support with it or the opponent makes a mistake or they just let you do it or whatever but some amount of the time you just get to use it and then it's really really good in this one, I think it only hit two or three phobies, but at that point, like, the game was still probably over, and even two or three phobies is still very good to hit with the Blondie on a small map, just because, like, that's still a very large debuff in power, and it also means that your Blondie is likely next to the opponent. You can also see I'm bringing phobies that work well with Blondie here in the Attractor. That's obviously very good with Blondie, because you can pull the opponent into you, and once they are into you, Connecting with the Blondie is very easy. I bring some more turrets here just because I kind of want another like strong frontliner for the attractor before I start going for Blondie. I believe I use it with this shovel here, though maybe I'm misremembering. That is what you're doing most of the time. If I had Phantom, I would probably be using that with Blondie a lot of the time, but I obviously do not. Otherwise, you would have seen a lot of videos with Phantom already, because that phobia is very, very disgusting. But instead I just use Shovel, which is still very good with Blondie. In some cases it's even better. It's also very good with the phobies I have out right now. Just because pushing a step into enemies is already pretty good. Like it's a fairly big threat. And being able to move your attractor forward so that you can pull from a further distance is also good. Or you can just poke with it like a normal Anoculus. So the Shovel just works well with this kind of thing. They go for the big boss here. Which means I'm forced to like split out in a weird fashion. Which I do. They could have tried to go in here on this comp, but it's kind of weird for them to go in because if the boss moves over here, then I can pull it into the trap and they know there's going to be traps here. And then I can hit it with all of my phobies and that's a lot of damage to them. And the, he's also not even killing anything yet by doing that because I would just be able to heal my attractor and then do a ton of damage to him and the other phobies wouldn't be able to attack. Which is also why they bring the shovel here which is very very intelligent because it means that they can do, go in with the boss like I'm, I was saying and then they can push the knuckles forward to one hit my attractor. In theory at least. So now I'm forced to move back a bit, which I obviously do, and now I bring the Blondie. And I'm splitting my team up into like two pairs, which means he can only really use the boss on either of these sides. And whichever side he goes on, I would uh, then pull him in with the other side and do a ton of damage to them. So if they go in here onto the attractor and unicorn, they would kill the unicorn but not the attractor. I would pull them into his own fire and the trap and I would double hit him with Blondie and he would die. If he goes over here and goes all in, I would just move this forward move my attractor forward, do a ton of damage to it, likely still push this forward. That would probably be the best option going in over here, but it's still not that good. Plus I would also be able to just move this out of the way and then push this forward maybe, which would also be very scary for that boss. So this position makes it very hard for them to go in. And it means that as I move further up with my phobies, it's going to be very hard for them to play the game here. I believe I actually go aggressive and kill the unicorn here. If I remember right? Yeah, I do. And that's just kind of to make something happen because I'm forced to move forward and I can't really afford to just sit there because I'm behind in panic points by a little bit. I use the shovels push here so that I'm not in direct boss range and then I just move forward with my other phobies. Put the blondie in a place where if the boss walks up I can walk up and hit him or power him down or something. And then they're obviously going to be able to easily kill my phobies up here if they want to. They are just moving him the boss forward here, which is a bit weird in my opinion, but it's also a fine thing to do. They kind of had to use the push there, because if they put the boss here, it's going to be in a very large amount of danger, likely even die. So they just get some damage onto my attractor like this, and I'm obviously forced to retreat with the attractor. 
I could have powered them down here if I wanted to, but I preferred just moving close to them. I don't know if that was correct or not. It may have been better to just power them down. But the main reason why I chose to not sit here with the Blondie and then power them both down is because I wanted to move up with the Stabby to hit them. And it's also just fine to move the Blondie further in. Like the Blondie really isn't that threatened by them here because it's incredibly tanky. Like even if they hit with everything, that they have here that's like 24 23 then maybe they hit with this like they can't quite kill it even with a snowball maybe with snowball and jar but then they are using everything i think that would probably have been their best play there but i uh, i guess they just didn't want to do that they wanted to play for the boss which in the end ended up being bad for them i think they may actually have been able to kill my blondie because of the trap again showcasing why unicorn is so broken so maybe i should have done the debuff maybe that was a mistake Hard to say without seeing how that game would have turned out. Here I use the debuff on the electric hat, which isn't that relevant, but it's very relevant on the boss, obviously. And then I use the push to like kill the inoculus, obviously. And then move these forward. Again, another unicorn trap. That phobia is really disgusting. Yeah, like I one shot the unicorn in this game and it dealt like 1300 damage to me, which is kind of ridiculous. But at this game, they're going to have a very hard time. Like, at this point in the game, they're going to have a very hard time dealing with me. Because, like, I'm very close to them with a blondie that has debuffed their most powerful phobie. So, that makes it very hard for them to have any chance of winning. And I'm also going to split my phobies off a little bit so that the bad omen can't do that much here. Them debuffing the blondie also doesn't matter that much because it's very high power. Also, it may have been correct to move my stabby one tile up so that it wouldn't die to the fire here. But I didn't really do those calculations for it and at this point of the game I was thinking this is probably over no matter what I do. Which is true here. Technically speaking, that would probably have been better though. I just want to see if they could have killed it on the turn where the where the blondie actually got hit there in the middle. Because maybe it was better to debuff from my side just to make sure that couldn't happen. That may have been a pretty big mistake on my part which they didn't capitalize on. Because I think they could have probably killed me. So this is 6, 12, 18, 24, so 2400 damage, right? Which means this has around 1,000 left, and then there's the burn damage. Then this hits. They could definitely have killed it, me with a snowball and a jar cannon, which I think they should have done. If they had killed this with snowball and jar cannon, though, I would have killed their inoculus, and I would have killed their boss. So it wouldn't even have been that bad for me. But it was definitely better to sit where the stabby is and then debuff them. I think. Then you put the stabby over here, maybe. Like maybe the turn should have looked like stabby is sitting here, the blondie is sitting here with debuff on these two, and then the rest is the same. That was probably a better play, but that's kind of weird. Like, I also didn't know there was a trap here, but I should probably have been able to guess that. Most people just don't put traps on panic points, so that was why I was thinking there wouldn't be anything. But it worked out in the end, because they didn't kill it. And it would probably still have been fine, like I said. But the better play was probably just debuffing them as soon as I could. Often you just want to take the debuff when you can get it with Blondie. But, yeah. Either way, it showcases why Blondie can be so scary on small maps with the support here. It had two support focus, the tractor and the shovel, obviously. But it, it like it can just completely take over a game, in my opinion, if it gets to go into the middle of the enemy team, which is why I think it's really good here. It's even able to like beat pretty organized teams. This wasn't really a great team into Blondie, but even like something where your opponent goes erratic with maybe like a puller or a pusher and stuff like that, you can still beat them with Blondie, which is, like, that's speaking to a unit's strength if it can beat its counters just when played well, or if you use the right phobies with it. Anyway, that was pretty much all there was for this one, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.